Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, I'm comparing two numbers, 50 to the power of 99 and 99 factorial, to see which one of these two numbers is greater than the other. I'll be using three methods. The first method is for the beginners. Second method is going to be just algebra 2. And the third method, I'll be using a bit more advanced algebra, so stay tuned. Okay, first method for the beginners. It is always about using calculator. They don't want to do the math. So even if you're using simple Google calculator, you can easily check 50 to the power of 99 is greater than 99 factorial. Second method is to make a fraction. Put this 50 to the power of 99 in the numerator and then put 99 factorial to your denominator to see if this fraction is greater than 1 or less than 1. Okay, like I said, let me make a fraction. So 50 to the power of 99 over 99 factorial. We need to see whether this fraction is greater than 1 or less than 1. If this fraction is greater than 1, then 50 to the power of 99 is greater. If this fraction is less than 1, then 99 factorial is greater. Okay, so let's talk about an expression for this fraction. So we have 50 to the power of 99 over 99 factorial. Okay, so the numerator is going to be multiplying 50 for 99 times. So we have 50 times all the way up to 50 times 50 times 50 times all the way up to 50. So then we have 40. 9 of uh, 50 multiplication, and then another 49 of uh, 50 is to be multiplied. And then we have a separate 50 here. Okay, then that divides by 99 times 98 times 97 times all the way up to 50 times 49 times all the way up to 2 times now 1. Okay, so it looks like we have this 50 in the middle of your numerator and denominator. So that's why we can rewrite this as now 50 over 99 times 50 over 1. And then 50 over 98 times 50 over 2, and so on. So that's why we can represent this as okay, 50 times 50 over 99 times 1. That times now 50 times also 50 over 98 times 2, and so on, all the way up to this 50 times also the 50 over now 51 times 49. That times this 50 over 50. Okay, then let's talk about each one of those parentheses. For the first parentheses, numerator is 50 times 50, 50 squared. That is 2,500. But then again, your denominator is 99 times 1, which is just a 99. So clearly, your numerator is greater than the one on your denominator. So that's why the first parenthesis is now going to be greater than 1. For the second parenthesis, still your numerator is 2,500. But then again, denominator is only 98 times 2. Clearly, your numerator is greater. So that's why this fraction is also greater than 1, and so on. And all the way up to now, this parenthesis, if you compare the numerator and denominator, so numerator is still 2,500, but then again, the denominator is 51 times 49. If you compare the numerator and denominator, numerator is greater than denominator slightly. So still greater than 1. And then now this 50 over 50 is equal to 1. And if you compare the values of the fractions from this left to the right, the values of the fraction is getting decreasing, but still greater than 1. And then this last fraction, the value is equal to 1. So that's why this 50 to the power of 99 over 99 factorial, this has to be greater than 1. So that's why we can say 50 to the power of 99 is greater than 99 factorial. Okay, then the third method is to use the log. Okay, let's use a little more math at this time. So I'll be making a fraction 2, but at this time, I'll be putting this 99 factorial on the numerator and 50 to the power of 99 of the denominator, right? Okay, so we have 99 factorial over 50 to the power of 99. Okay, so we still need to see whether this is now greater than 1 or less than 1. If this is greater than 1, that means 99 factorial is greater than 50 to the power of 99. If this fraction is less than 1, that means 99 factorial is now less than 50 to the power of 99, right? Okay. 
Okay, for the fraction 99 factorial over 50 to the power of 99, we can rewrite this as 99 over 50 times 98 over 50 times 97 over 50 times all the way up to just the 1 over 50. Still need to check whether this is greater than or less than 1. What I'm going to do next is to apply the log on the left and right hand side. So let me apply the log to the left and to the right. So clearly on right hand side, log of 1 is equal to 0, right? So let's talk about this left hand side. So the left hand side is using this product rule of the log, right? Rewrite this as log of 99 over 50 plus log of 98 over 50 plus all the way up to log of 50 over 50 plus all the way up to the log of 1 over 50. Okay, so we already know this log of 50 over 50, which is log of 1. This is now equal to 0. So that's why this left hand side, we can nicely rewrite this left hand side as adding those two. The first and the last term added up, second, the second to the last added up, and so on. So we can represent this as now log of 99 over 50 plus log of 1 over 50 plus log of 98 over 50 plus second to the last log of 2 over now 50 and plus all the way to log of now 51 over 50 plus log of 49 over 50. Okay, then again, those numbers, 99 over 50, 98 over 50, all the way up to 51 over 50. We can represent those numbers as, say, 1 plus 8 over 50. I'll talk about this 8. And those numbers, 1 over 50, 2 over 50, all the way up to 49 over 50. We can represent those numbers as then 1 minus a over 50. In this case, your a has to be positive integer. That is greater than or equal to 1, but less than or equal to 49. So that's why if you rewrite this left hand side part using the summation sign, then this is the same as summation when a is from 1 to 49. Let me make a bracket. And then we should have log of 1 plus a over now 50 plus log of 1 minus a over 50. Okay, so 1 plus a over 50. This is 50 plus a over 50. And then again, that's 1 minus a over 50. This is 50 minus a over now 50. Right. So that's why using this, we can represent those log of 1 plus a over 50 and log of 1 minus a over 50 as... Okay, this is going to be the same as then the log of 50 plus 8 minus log of 50. And then log of 1 minus a over 50. So this has log of now 50 minus 8 minus log of 50. Right. Okay, then using this condition about the a, that is positive integer from 1 to 49 inclusive, we can easily say this expression. Log of 1 plus a over 50 has to be now then greater than 0. And then this expression, log of 1 minus a over 50 has to be negative. 
So you're adding up positive and negative numbers. So that's why we need to compare the absolute value of log of 1 plus a over 50 and the absolute value of log of 1 minus a over 50. So now we are comparing the absolute value of log of 1 plus a over 50 with absolute value of log of 1 minus a over 50. Okay, we can easily check by drawing the graph of this log. We have x axis and the y axis. And then the log graph is looking just like this, right? And let me put a vertical line that is based on the x is 50. So all we need to check is the slope of the graph of log of x, right? So this is log of x. And then that area is when your x is less than 50, and that area is when your x is greater than 50. Okay, so between these two areas, which one of those two areas has steeper slope, right? So, instantaneous rate of change. So when x is less than 50, the log of x has steeper slope than when x is greater than 50. Okay, so that is why now between these two, Absolute value of log of 1 minus a over 50 should be now greater than the absolute value of log of 1 plus a over 50. So using this, we can easily say the summation part. Summation from a is equal to 1 to 49 of this expression is going to be then less than 0. That is why 99 factorial over 50 to the power of 99. Okay, This is going to be then less than 1. So that we can conclude that this 50 to the power of 99 is greater than 99 factorial. Okay, so pretty interesting algebra question. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.